Hey you guys, Christina here from After Buzz TV and I'm at Create and Cultivate with one of my favorite vloggers, Devin Rachel. Hi! Hi! How are you doing? I'm great, a little tired, but it's been an awesome day, so yeah. yeah so awesome. you were a mentor. I mean, like, what was it like when you got that call or email or whatever? Um, it was so great because I'm so honored to be amongst all these awesome women. I was, yeah. I'm usually in the other seat listening to all these people talk, so it was just such an honor and such a a huge deal for me to be able to be a part of it so I was like yes right now you've I'll been do. blogging I think you said for about four years mm -hmm. now right when did you start treating it professionally and when did you realize like okay this is a business because I feel like Instagram started and all of a sudden people went from like 10,000 to 50 to like 150 really? yeah um, I think it, it's when I moved here to LA about like um, I guess two years ago three years ago um, I think then is when I started taking it more seriously and a um, year after that, so I've been doing it full time for about a year and a half, two years, and I think that's kind of when I, I was able to stop and do it full time. And I think that, is that the answer to your question? I'm sorry, I'm like yeah. going all over the place now. Oh, you're doing an it's awesome job. Yeah, it's um, yeah, it's been a year and a half, almost two years. You've worked with a bunch of brands. Has there been one that contacted you that you were kind of like, oh my gosh, like my dreams are coming true? Absolutely. Nordstrom. I got to host an event and see my name in the store of Nordstrom and like a big thing that said my blog. It was just crazy. Yeah, it was so crazy. Then I got to go to Hawaii with a brand once to do stuff. It was just, a lot of girls do that all the time, but for me, it was just so crazy. I got to bring my best friend. It was. I it think was you just so posted cool. about that. I did. Oh my God, I feel like such a creep. No, no, no. I did because I was like, oh my gosh, this is such a cool video that I missed. I missed it. It was almost a year ago, which is crazy. But yeah, that's it so was, exciting. It was so fun. It was it was the most cool experience ever, and I'm I'm honored to be able to do all this stuff and work with all these awesome brands. So it's crazy. Okay, so I have to ask you one question that I have as a blogger too. Like, how do you get clothes? Because it's a freaking expensive hobby if that's what's your hobby, and if it's a job, like it's still so much really? money. So I mean, what's your tip to newcomers into the industry? Email, email, email every brand that you love. I emailed if I liked a brand. I email them and find find every email you can to their PR or anything so that you can ask for free clothes. They are so willing to give bloggers free clothes that will post about it. And yeah, they're clothes you can't pay your mortgage on clothes, yeah. but you get to a point where you will be able to. You build those relationships by wearing those clothes. That's what I personally did, and it helped. It works. Like they all, they will, they will throw clothes at you. You know, I mean, yeah. brands can afford to do that. So, is it a tough conversation to be like, okay, you've been giving me this for free for a year or two? But now I need it for free and a paycheck as well. It's definitely tough. I mean, there are brands that I had to do that with that I'm, you know, this, you just have to say, look, I'm so excited to be able to grow this much. Here's how much I've grown. So here's what I can offer you, you know, and because of your awesome uh, gift to me, I've been able to wear this and it did really well. So, you know, here's how I, I, I've grown and this, so this is why I need you to do this or else we can't work together anymore. I think that's kind of something you have to do at some point. It's hard. You have to kind of be a via in a nice way, you know what I mean? Well, you have to know your worth, yeah. and that's probably the most right. important thing. Right. Knowing your worth. 100% my manager, I signed with a manager about a year ago, and that was the one thing they've taught me is to know your worth, you know, and, and to know how much your time is worth, and you know, things like that, that you just have to keep in mind. All right, cool. So we know like a little bit of the business. I want to get to know the real Devin, so we're going to do some like small little fun questions. Okay. Ready? Rapid fire. Okay. Um, who would you rather hang out with, Beyonce or Katy Perry? <gasps> Oh, Katy Perry. I love it. I hate to say that, but I just feel like she would be more, I don't know. Would Are be you more scared of the Beyonce fans, fans right now? I kind of. I mean, I don't know. I just feel like she's like, oh, and I, Katy's like, yeah. I don't know. Katy girl. I like Katy, yeah. Cool, I like that. Um, what about if you had to choose between mascara or lipstick? <gasps> mascara. I'm Because I forget lipstick all the time like I am right now, but my mom would probably say lipstick. Really? I would, Yes, she's always told me. Mascara, lipstick, and blush. You have to have that before you leave the house every time. I'm a Texan girl, you know, at heart. But um, oh yeah, I love that. My mom is like, don't wear makeup. Oh, my mom is. Oh no, no. My mom's like, you don't have any makeup on today, Devin. You need to put some makeup on. Well, then in that case, would you rather dress up or dress down? Ooh, I would say in the middle because since I moved to LA, I feel like there's just kind of like casual vibe, you know. So it has changed so much from Texas to now. So I feel like my style so much evolved so much. But I love dressing up. Don't get me wrong, I love dressing up. But I am so happy in a, a, some jeans that are torn and an awesome tee with a cool leather jacket every day of the week. Like, I feel like I that's the LA wardrobe. Yes, I'm like, it just. I feel like I'm like, oh, I can wear something comfortable. So I mean, I like both, but so I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle on that one, but. 
Have yeah. you ever had a major fashion faux pas that you like look back at photos and you're like, what was I thinking? Uh, yes, I think with fit, it's hard, you know, to kind of figure out how things work on camera versus in the mirror. So I think yeah. for me, it's like, I mean, there are definitely a couple times where I would be like, okay, yeah, I probably shouldn't have worn that. I probably should have opened that button a little more. Oh, <laughs> but you know what I mean? So yeah, I feel like you live and you learn with those kinds of things with camera. But yeah, that okay. would be my place to go. And if you could choose one celebrity of the opposite sex, okay. if you were them and you could have their style, what would it, who would it be? That's a good question. Um, hmm. Orlando Bloom. Really? Yeah, because it's so opposite of me. I feel like it would be so fun to be this like rock star, crazy yeah. blah, party. I don't know. I feel like that would be so fun to just live a life like that for a day. Orlando Boom Bloom post Miranda Kerr or maybe I guess, but he's still probably fun yeah, yeah, and definitely. super hot. So you know, totally. as long as I'd be fun and hot. Just kidding. Perfect combination and like a little rock star too. Yeah, yeah. can't go any better. Good. Okay, and one last thing, right? Spring is coming up. I mean, spring is here. It just started yeah, yesterday. Like yeah. What is your favorite trend for spring and something that you think needs to go away? Ooh, okay. Something I love are 70s trends, 70s flare jeans, uh, white on white. Oh, thank you. Oh, I love, oh, I thought you said, no, I love a flare jean. I love, I think they're so flattering on everyone, us tall girls. It's awesome for that. I love a flare jean. Um, I love 70s trends and all the white on white. A trend I wish that would go away, okay. Some of these like beads on, or these, um, the pants that have weird beads all over them, kind of like I'm like not kidding. Like? No, like like pearls or things like I don't know. I've seen it a couple times. I have not worn any jeans with pearls no, on them. No, it's like '90s style, from really? '80s style. Like yeah, it's and I just can't with those. I just they, they're just kind of weird to me, but needs I, to go away. Yeah, I've gotten a couple of them in the mail, and I'm just like, really? Is this really cool? I guess. But how do you handle that? Are you like, I'm sorry, I can't wear this? Well, I, they give you something with the with knowing that you might or might not feature it, whatever. And some brands are really like persistent about emailing you. Did you get it? Did you get it? Did you get it? But I mean, some usually. I mean, usually they don't. They don't. They just send it randomly, and they they're like, I don't know, glad they got an address from somebody to send it. But you know, are you ever nervous where you're like, how are people finding out where I live? Oh, totally, all the time. I'm like, don't take a picture where there's like any orange in the background so you can see where I live. Uh, it's scary, yeah. people. I mean, not that people are mean or crazy, but yeah. I mean, sometimes they are crazy. And I've had yeah. friends that know that people will drive by their houses that they're building or something and like take pictures of them. Really? Yeah. Oh my god. And knowing like where they live. Yeah, knowing where they are. Just people just gotta be smart about it. Don't yeah. don't tag where your house is on your Instagram, and then you won't, totally. you know, you won't have people coming to look for you. <laughs> scary. Lastly, I mean, it's so interesting right now because I feel like fashion bloggers are growing by supporting each other. Like, you take a photo with someone, you post it on Instagram, and you help them build their following, and likewise. But there's also, like, this competitiveness that comes with it. Like, how do you kind of battle, like, I mean, how do you battle that? It's hard. I mean, you have to really stay clear to what you want to do and just surround yourself by people that are not competitive like that, you know, that are not. And it's great to be competitive, but not in a way that's, like, a negative vibe. I think there's so many people that are negative and competitive in that way, but you have to surround yourself with other people who are uplifting and inspiring and, and willing to help you and willing to bounce ideas off of you. And I don't know, I just think it, there's people in my life that I used to have in there that were competitive and not good and bad energy, and I've kind of pushed that out, you know, and I just feel like it's better now. And you're just surrounding yourself with people that are good. All right. Be nice and people will be nice to you. I think yeah. that's the motto, right? Be nice. Always be nice. Well, thank you so much.